Hey everybody, this is Rob Archangel of ArchangelInc.com. In this video, I want to answer the question, is there any reason not to make my book available for expanded distribution when I'm selecting my distribution channels on CreateSpace? The answer to that is yes. There are some reasons that you might consider not making it available through expanded distribution. Now, first off, what is expanded distribution? It is a way that CreateSpace will uh, allow you to sell on other retailers. So for example, barnesandnoble.com or in uh, local retailers in, uh, to academic institutions, to libraries, to wherever. So on the one hand, that's good, right? You have your book, you get a copy and you get a copy and you get a copy, everybody gets a copy. And that's, that's really good if you want your book to be widely available. So there's a positive there. However, Expanded distribution requires a wholesaler's discount, and so it's gonna raise your minimum list price. If you are trying to set your price point really low and you wanna compete on, on cost, on dollar cost, then you may be better off not making it available through expanded distribution because it's going to require that your minimum list price goes up. For most authors, I would say they are pricing already above their minimum list price and with enough of a buffer of uh, above their minimum list price that they are able to, to make available expanded distribution without having to increase their price, but sometimes not. There are some projects that might be really long or maybe they're in color or there might be other factors that are, that are taken into consideration that uh, make it so you don't want to have to raise it that much higher to allow for expanded distribution. You know, it may be a philosophy thing too. You may think, well, gosh, I just want to make four or five dollars per copy on each sale of my book, and I can do that by pricing it, let's say, at ten or twelve dollars on Amazon and Create Space. But if I price it at the same ten or twelve dollars through expanded distribution and somebody buys it through, let's say, BarnesandNoble.com or elsewhere, I'm only gonna make a dollar and a half. I don't want that. Forget it. This is this is my career, this is the value of my book, and I want to make it available at a price point that's going to work for me, at a royalty rate that's gonna work for me. And if that's the, the cost of entry, maybe I just don't enter the expanded distribution market. So those are factors to, to take into consideration. One other thing to mention is you can elect to start, start in expanded distribution and leave, or vice versa. You can keep it out of expanded distribution. Let's say you're promoting a book, you want it available at the lowest price point on launch, you want lots and lots of people buying it, and making it available at the most competitive price point that you can, you can do that. And then later on, as its credibility is established and you have some, some reviews and you wanna make it available to a wider audience, you can do that as well by raising your price point and making it available through the uh, Create Space Expanded Distribution option. So, hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions about expanded distribution options, the pros and cons, anything related to this topic or other self-publishing topics, let me know in the comments down below. I'm happy to help and answer them, uh, answer all those questions as best as I can. So this is Rob Archangel of archangelinc.com. I'll see you all next time.